Hey guys, so today I'm doing a peachy makeup tutorial using the Colourpop Nectar Collection. So I have their Knockout palette, which is the face palette. I have the Blow Me Away eye palette, as well as some of their single shadows. And then I also used one of the... And then I also used two mini ultra lippies. These aren't from the collection, but any of the peachy lips from the collection would work amazing with this look. So if you'd like to know how I got this look and my thoughts on these products, please keep watching. First I'm just going to take a bit of bronzer. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Bronze. Um, and just going to bronze up my face. So first I'm taking the Knockout palette. This is their blush and highlight palette. Uh, looks like this. I'm a little too pale for the highlight at the moment. Um, but yeah, we'll work with it. I'm just going to take the same brush. This blush colour I absolutely adore. It's so pretty. Oh, it's gorgeous. So this highlight's a little dark, as I mentioned. Um, so I'll probably end up mixing it with a different one. But we'll start off with just this. Just on my e.l.f. blush brush. Can you see it? It definitely gives like a golden glow. I don't know if mine's like hard pressed more or not. But it doesn't seem to pick up on a brush very well. I've seen other people use this and it's like a gorgeous intense glow. Maybe it's their skin tone. But yeah, that's the palette. I'm actually just going to take a little bit of Let Me Explain, which is one of their single shadows. See, like that picks up so much better. So this will just add a little bit more life. I'm just going to set my base with the Wet n Wild setting spray. I love this stuff. Seriously, the best setting spray I've ever tried. While that settles, I want to talk to you about something. In case you haven't seen on my Instagram story, um, I have the Alexis Ren Colourpop Bronzing Palette, and look what happened to it. It's completely turned to dust. I've emailed them, so hopefully they'll be able to do something about it. But, like... It's seriously dust like. I don't know if it is something in the formula, like it's missing a binding agent. Um, one girl I was talking to said it's a possibility that the metal pans popped and shattered it. But yeah, so I messaged them, hopefully they can do something, or I'm going to try and repress it. But I feel like it's probably not going to work well. So. Yeah, that's a little warning in case you have that palette. Because my friend has the same palette and it did the same thing. Hers just completely turned to dust as well. So keep that in mind. Um, hopefully none of my others do it. I'm like praying. So for the eyes, I have the Blow Me Away palette. Which looks like this. Absolutely stunning. So this will be like the main focus. But then I also have the shade... Savage, which is like a really cool like dual chrome colour. And the shade Cutouts, which is like a medium peachy shade. I'm going to take the shade Issues. And this shade's just going into the crease. This colour is nice because on, like even on my pale skin, 
Um, it's just light enough that I can kind of just go like ham with it. And it doesn't look over the top. If you have deeper skin, this colour may not work for you. I'm now taking the shade Centerfold, which is like a soft peachy shade. And this is going into the crease. I've actually been wearing this collection the last few days and I'm absolutely obsessed. Like, I'm not usually into the pinks and kind of peachy colours. I'm now taking the shade Cutouts, which is a bit deeper. I'm actually going to take that on the Colourpop blending brush. Just directly into the kind of the outer corner. So now I'm actually going to repeat that process on my lower lash line using them same colours. So starting with Issues, then Centerfold, obviously I'm not going as intense as the top because I still want this look to be wearable. So I'm taking the shade Take a Break just on my finger and pressing it all over my lid. And once again through with the blending brush just to soften those edges and then finally I'm taking let me explain on my accent brush and that just goes on the inner corner and I take a pencil and smudge it on my top lash line Then taking a flat brush I'm taking the essence I like long lashes mascara I've been using this recently and I actually quite like it so I don't actually have any of the lip products from the Nectar collection, but I have two that are kind of peachy So first is actually from the sand collection. It's the shade strip, which I'm going to apply first And I'm going to put a little bit of the ultra matte in Pookie bear over the top. This was from the Valentine's Day collection But if you want to recreate this just use any like peachy nectary kind of lip color and it'll work well probably even a bit too dark so I look a bit of a mess I can't be bothered doing my hair actually but that is the finished look super pretty it's actually an amazing look for spring yeah just real peachy and fun so I actually love this collection I think it's so cute I love um, like the whole collection especially this phase comment below which products you have picked up from the Colourpop spring collection um, and which phase was your favourite, whether it be nectar, pink or sand. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It seriously means the world to me. I hope you're all having an absolutely fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video.